Why did the tourist in Venice get lost? Because he found too many places to gondol over. Ah, Venice. A city of enchanting waterways and timeless beauty where the Grand Canal stands as its most iconic feature. This main water traffic corridor of Venice, also known as Canalazzo to the locals, is the bustling aquatic thoroughfare that stretches over two miles, shaping the city's unique character. Imagine a parade of ornate buildings, each one whispering tales of Venice's rich history, lining the canal. Their facades paint a vibrant palette of Venetian architecture, from Byzantine, Gothic and Renaissance to Baroque and neoclassical styles. These grand palaces, once homes to the city's wealthy merchants, now stand as museums, hotels and restaurants, their magnificence reflected in the shimmering waters below. But what's a canal without its watercraft? The Grand Canal is a lively aquatic ballet, with gondolas and vaporettos pirouetting gracefully across the waters. Gondolas, those romantic symbols of Venice, are perfect for intimate tours along the canal. Meanwhile, vaporettos, the city's water buses, ferry locals and tourists alike, offering a more practical and equally fascinating perspective of the city. Spanning across the Grand Canal are four bridges, each with its unique allure. The oldest and most famous, the Rialto Bridge, is a captivating sight, particularly at sunset when the golden hues of the setting sun glint off its stone arch. The Ponte degli Scalzi, Ponte dell'Accademia and Ponte della Costituzione each offer their own unique vantage points, framing the Grand Canal's spectacle in their own special way. The Grand Canal is not just a waterway, it's the pulsating artery of Venice, a testament to its past glory and a living, breathing part of its present. It's a spectacle of light, color and life, a grand stage where the drama of Venice unfolds every day. So, if you're ready to gondol over some places, the Grand Canal should be your first stop. From a Grand Canal to a Grand Square, next up is St. Mark's Square. As the beating heart of Venice, this square is much more than just a breathtaking collection of architecture. It's the city's social, religious and political epicenter. Imagine a place where people from all walks of life converge, an open-air salon under the sky, bustling with energy and brimming with stories. That's St. Mark's Square for you. Now let your mind's eye wander to the St. Mark's Basilica. Its stunning Byzantine influence, intricate mosaics and gold accents will leave you in awe. And then, there's the towering Campanile. Standing tall at nearly 100 meters, it whispers tales of resilience, having been rebuilt after a devastating collapse in the Uri. This square, my friends, is a testament, is a testament to Venice's rich history and enduring spirit. St. Mark's Square, where every corner tells a story. Speaking of stories, let's move on to the Doge's Palace. This grand edifice is steeped in history, having served as the residence of the Doge, the supreme authority of the former Venetian Republic. It's a magnificent testament to Venetian Gothic architecture, with its delicate pink and white marble facade and intricate stone carvings that will take your breath away. The palace is not just a feast for the eyes, it's a journey into the heart of Venice's vibrant past. As you pass through its ornate chambers, you can almost hear the whispers of political intrigue that once filled these halls. And then there's the Bridge of Sighs. This enclosed bridge is said to have been named by the prisoners who would sigh at their last view of beautiful Venice through the window before being taken down to their cells. The Doge's Palace, a true symbol of Venice's glorious past. From one bridge to another, let's hop over to the Rialto Bridge. The oldest and most illustrious bridge in all of Venice, the Rialto Bridge boasts a unique design that's been charming visitors for centuries. Its distinctive arch supports a bustling market, a lively hub of activity where you can soak up the true essence of Venetian life. A symphony of sights, sounds and scents, the market adds a vibrant layer to the charm of the bridge. The Rialto, the perfect spot for a memorable selfie. Now let's take a break from the city and head to Murano Island. Nestled in the heart of the Venetian lagoon, Murano Island is a vibrant kaleidoscope of color and creativity. This enchanting island is renowned worldwide for its long-standing tradition of glassmaking, a craft that dates back to the 7th century. Here the air is filled with the gentle clinking of glass and the soft glow of furnaces. The island is dotted with numerous glass factories and workshops where you can witness the mesmerizing process of glass blowing. Watch in awe as molten glass is transformed into exquisite pieces of art, each one unique and brimming with intricate detail. From shimmering chandeliers that seem to hold captured light, 
to delicate figurines with the translucence of dew-kissed flowers. The beautiful glass artifacts of Murano are a feast for the senses. Each piece tells a story, a testament to the skill and passion of the artisans who breathe life into them. Murano Island, where art comes alive in glass. From one island to another, let's sail to Burano Island. Picture a vibrant canvas of hues, each house painted a different color, reflecting off the serene canals. This is Burano, an artist's dream come true, but the island's appeal goes beyond its rainbow facades. Burano is a haven of handmade lace, a tradition passed down generations. Each intricate design is a testament to the islander's skill and patience. So for a feast of color and craft, set your sails for Burano Island, a kaleidoscope of colors and craft. Let's trade the island breeze for some opera at the Teatro La Fenice. Now we're stepping into the world of the Grand Opera, where music and drama intertwine in a spectacle of sound and emotion. Teatro La Fenice, the Phoenix, is one of the most famous and renowned landmarks in the history of Italian theater, and in the broader context, world opera. Its grand design, an epitome of opulence and elegance, is a testament to the creativity and artistic flair of the Venetians. The interior is adorned with gilded stucco and plush red velvet, creating an atmosphere of awe and prestige. The theatre has been the stage for premieres of many famous operas, and it's not hard to imagine the echoes of past performances filling the air. The rich history of Teatro La Fenice is as dramatic as the operas it hosts. It has risen from the ashes twice, reinforcing its name, the Phoenix, and proving its resilience. Teatro La Fenice, where music and history take center stage. Now, how about some modern art at the Peggy Guggenheim collection? Nestled in the heart of Venice, this esteemed museum is a treasure trove of modern art. The collection, amassed over Peggy Guggenheim's lifetime, is a testament to her keen eye for talent and her unwavering support for the avant-garde. This is where you'll find masterpieces by the likes of Picasso, Dali and Pollock, to name just a few. Each room is a journey through different periods and styles, from cubism to surrealism, each piece a fascinating reflection of the times it was created in. And it's not just the art that's impressive. The museum is housed in an 18th century palace, Palazzo Venier dei Leoni, offering stunning views of the Grand Canal. Whether you're an art connoisseur or simply enjoy the occasional gallery visit, the Peggy Guggenheim collection is sure to captivate. The Peggy Guggenheim Collection, a feast for the eyes and soul. Speaking of feasts, let's feast our eyes on the Bridge of Sighs, a marvel of Baroque architecture. This enclosed limestone bridge has been a silent witness to Venice's history since the 17th century. Its name, inspired by the size of prisoners glimpsing their last view of the city before incarceration, has evolved into a romantic legend. It's said that if a couple shares a kiss under the bridge at sunset, their love will last forever. The Bridge of Sighs, where love and history intertwine. And finally, let's end our Venice tour with some sun and sand at the Lido. This 11-kilometer sandbar, stretching like a slender finger into the Adriatic Sea, is a world away from the bustling canals and piazzas of central Venice. Here, you'll find beautiful beaches where you can sink your toes into the soft sand, soak up some sun, and dive into the sparkling blue waters. It's not just about beach life, though. The Lido is also home to the prestigious Venice Film Festival. Every year this sandy strip transforms into a red carpet runway, attracting the creme de la creme of the international film industry. It's a time of glamour and glitz, where the silver screen lights up under the starry Venetian sky. Whether you're a film buff, a beach bum, or simply someone looking for a tranquil escape, the Lido offers a unique blend of relaxation and excitement. The Lido, the perfect place to relax after exploring the wonders of Venice.